Okay, here we have a butterfly that we want to put on a piece of wood, and then here we have somebody's name. What we want is with the name to show up on the butterfly. Uh, if you do it like this, the butterfly would be colored, and the name would just be a, an outline, but you wouldn't be able to read it very well. Uh, but if you highlight both of them, you come up to merge and click subtract. Now, the n butterfly will be black, where the letters are will be unchanged, so it'll show up in a contrast and it'll look uh, fairly decent doing it that way. I use this one a lot on um, stainless steel mugs. Okay, here we've got some text and we've got a graphic. We can set it up and run it like that. Or, a little room here, make sure our uh, text is highlighted. We can come up here to curve, click on that, and you can curve it up or you can curve it down. Right now we're at zero. If you want it to be curved down, just kind of slide it. You can get it to where you want it. So once it's there. That looks better than plain text. Okay, here we've got a little butterfly, and we got to make multiples of it. We should put on a piece of wood and cut them out. Um, as it sits now, this is going to uh, be printed on the board. Um, but there's only one of them. You can sit here and you can cut, paste, and get as many on there as you want. But what you need to do is whenever this image here is done and it's the way you want it and you're ready to proceed with it highlighted, you go up here to Array and do Array Creation. Click on that. And the default goes 2x2, two two, but you can... Increase that to however many you want to fill up the page. And it will save you a whole lot of clicking and pasting. Once you've got where you want it, hit confirm and proceed. Okay, this was fairly easy and I thought everybody knew it, but the question was asked the other day, so I'll address it. Here's your image. Um, you got T Rex going to the right. You want T Rex going to the left. All you do is you come up here to where these triangles are. This one means mirror left, right, and this one means mirror top to bottom, and this one means rotate. So right now we're going to change T Rex from going to the right to going to the left. We click on this button here. And there it is, he changed around. Now if we want to take T Rex and stand him on his head, we click on this the one next to it. T Rex is on his head. Now if we want to bring T-Rex back, but we don't want to bring him all the way back. We just want to do it a little bit at a time. We click on this one here. And we come back halfway at a time. There you go. Uh, also, if you want to change T-Rex at an arbitrary angle, you can actually key in here. We want T-Rex at 90 degrees. T-Rex goes at 90 degrees. Okay, we'll click on the AI button. Uh, we click on AI. Here's your sample. We highlight all that. Delete. Now we type in what we want. Uh, let's do a giant spider eating a car. By default, this number goes to one. If you do three or four, it gives you a choice down here at the bottom. So just do them one at a time. If you want something removed, uh, you type it in here like not blue, not green, not, you know, whatever. You type it in there. And, uh, playing around with this can be a lot of fun. I'll give you that. Hit generate, and it's going to take a minute or so for it to go out there and come up with something that you want. Uh, the post taste will come back, and it's going to give us a couple different options to do. Here's one's weird. There's a better one. There's a better one. Better one. Uh, 
sometimes you get good stuff, sometimes you get bad stuff, but it's fun to play around with. So say we wanted this one here to go to work with it or something. You do import to canvas down here, click it, and it brings it over here to the canvas. It's always big, so you're going to have to change the size. A lot of people do this, and they put these on the, the black tiles. Uh, I've seen some really, really cool ones of that. But that's the way you run the AI. Thank you.